McCain, are you anywhere near downtown? Uh, sure, Chief. Why? We got reports that a gang is trying to abduct Forrest Blackwell. They've got him on top of a building near the downtown science museum. I'm on my way, Chief. Has backup been dispatched? Yes, but by the time they get there, it'll be too late. So hurry up! I really don't want to get on the wrong side of Forrest Blackwell. I need to find a blue color swapper. Maybe a sandwich? Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa! Did you see how cool that was? Dave! Dave! Whoa! Look! An awning! If this was an action movie, someone would fall onto that. Whoa! Ow! That really smarts. Could my day get any worse? <clears throat> Merciful heavens above! Help at last! Arrest these men! Get him! That's right! You show him what for! That was a good bunch of twos! Ha! He won't soon forget that hiding! Yeah! Thank you, young man. I thought my fate was sealed. Now while I'm on duty, sir. They may have reinforcements, so we ought to leave here at once. My car should still be nearby. Sorry we're late, Chase. Not that it looks like you needed our help. Young man, I should feel a lot safer at the police station. Would you mind driving me? I'm still rather shaken. Go on. I'll call the chief and tell him you got Mr. Blackwell down safely. We'll stay here and round up the gang members. Thank you. I'm dreadfully sorry. I haven't even asked your name. I'm Chase. Chase McCain. Uh, we've never met before. Chase McCain. Well, what a tiny world we live in. You know, I was only recently talking to an acquaintance of mine about you. About all the effort you went to in arresting Rex Fury. He doesn't think Chief Dunby did that? Oh, no. Some of us have a far clearer view of those events. Unmuddied by spin. Such a pity Rex got out again. Who knows what fiendish things he's up to. Yeah. So, who were those men back there? Environmental activists, no doubt. They don't care for me at all. Why don't they like you? You don't know. I thought everyone did. Simply an unfortunate misunderstanding that I have put completely behind me now. The main thing is, you're safe now. Yes. I must have a word with my security people. Well, this is nice. Lovely day for a drive. We're here. Mr. Blackwell, I, I am so relieved you're safe. I can barely sleep. Thank you again, Chase. You sleep during work hours. Well, uh, uh, let me take you inside. Thank you. Farewell, Chase McCain. I'm sure we will meet again. <laughs> Oh, that rhyme. Natalia. Huh? I... I might, I repeat, might, need your help. I couldn't find my dad in any of Chan's other offices. So... I decided to try a salvage yard, and now I'm stuck in here. What? I was desperate. It is my dad, Chase. What if Chan catches you? That won't happen. I'm completely hidden. <gasps> hey, whose feet are sticking out from behind my curtains? Help! Natalia? Natalia! I need a favor, and the Chief cannot know about it. Name it. Natalia's in trouble at Chan's junkyard, and I'm gonna need backup to get her out. Natalia Kowalski? 
What are you up to? It's a long story. Can you help? Sure. I know a couple of officers who don't mind going behind the Chief's back. I'll tell them to meet you outside the salvage yard, and I'll get them to bring a disguise. We don't want Chan recognizing you. Thanks, Ellie. You don't know how much this means to me. Where's my backup? You're meant to be here by now. Hey, Chase. Okay. Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky. Thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> that is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. Those two, they're cops. You, go and warn the bus. I guess the softly, softly approach is out of the question. You ready, Studsky? Oh, no. oh, ready. Ready for what? We've got to get to Natalia as fast as possible. Chan could be doing anything to get information out of her. Like giving her ice cream? What? He's not going to try to bribe her, Studsky. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. I tell you anything if you threaten me with it. Especially mint chocolate. Blech. Right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop and she'd get trapped wind because ladies can't burp in public. My mom does that all the time. Your mom ain't no lady. Yeah. Oh, I thought of another one. They could... All right. That really isn't helping. Ooh. Ooh. Who puts a fuel can in a washing machine? No wonder it's in a scrapyard. A couple more cans of fuel, and I can start that generator. I need to get that gate open. Look at me, I'm on a roll.
I'm not sure he's the kind of dog that likes being petted. Sheesh! Oh. How much fridge space do you need? Here, doggy doggy. Super build. Those things are awesome. Oh, man, that model was a classic. Now that is what I call a compact car. Ooh, I can use it to get up onto that pile of junk. Scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't be played in. You hear me? Good luck getting over the grinder! <laughs> That's a subtle arrow. So, is Natalia ticklish? What? Is she ticklish? Once I got tickled so badly by a mugger that I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? Oh, duh, yeah, to my twin sister. Oh, oh. Maybe I can use those cars as platforms? Bad. I'm normally afraid of changing my car's oil.
teleporter built out of scrap? <sighs> if I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. <sighs> oh, good. More bad guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. <laughs> Here. All right, just hang on. Whoop, sorry. Poor choice of words. Are you gonna get me down anytime soon? you down in a minute about time oh sorry I mean thanks I just need to find the button to lower you gently ah! yeah that wasn't it oh. Oh. he made me eat ice cream called it oh. Studsky Let's make ourselves scarce before the Chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Starting from now? Because of your blundering around in Chan's salvage yard, he's disappeared, which is gonna make it somewhat tricky to arrest him. But I had to rescue- I don't wanna hear it! I'm transferring you to Sheriff Huckleberry's department in the forest until we've cleared up this mess. Does he need our help with solving the case? Ha! Doubtful. His district has the lowest amount of crime in all of Lego City, which is why I want you there, so you can't cause trouble. What about the Fury investigation? I've put my most highly decorated officer on the case, my protege. I like to think of him as the son I never had and who looks nothing like me. <laughs> if anyone can get results, it's him! This is an emergency.
police. Hey! Hi, Frank. What did you do to get sent out here, then? Are you sure you're a qualified plumber, honey? Of course! Ah. Honey! Nothing? That's right, deputy. Huh? I got you cornered. Huckleberry's in It's just you and me. Frank. Because I I'll sent your boss on a wild goose you go chase. Side. After a wild goose. <laughs> Say. Oh. Prayers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey there, Chase. We're just finishing rehearsing our play. <laughs> Okay. You gotta do something to fill your days around here. Nothing exciting ever happens. I... Uh... The front door was locked? <laughs> Calm down, Derek. Don't worry, you two. Your chief warned me you were coming, and I've drawn up a work roster. Frank. You'll be in charge of making sure we do not run out of coffee. You can trust me, Sheriff Huckleberry. And Chase. I broke the coffee machine. <laughs> Language! Well then, both of you will be rounding up Farmer Hayes' escaped pigs. His farm's to the south of here. I'd go myself. But it's curtains up tonight, and I still don't know all my lines. We're on it. Come on, Chase. Let's go see the nanimals. It's not a petting zoo, Frank. Right. The sooner we find those animals, the sooner I can get back to finding Rex. Hey, look! Horses! Do we get to use them? I guess. Can you ride a horse? It depends. Are these ones stick shift or automatic? Maybe you should just walk. See you later! <laughs> Chase! My horse is stuck in reverse! And it doesn't have a head! And it has a really weird looking butt! You're sat facing backwards, Frank. Oh! That'd explain why he didn't like it when I fed him that apple. Thanks, Chase. See you at the farm. Sir. Huh, at last! You have to find my pigs. And this is why I became a policeman. They're mountain pigs. Incredibly rare. I'm going out of my mind with worry. Going. <laughs> have no fear. This is Chase McCain. If anyone's qualified to find your pigs, it's him. Thank you, honey. Well, they shouldn't be too hard to find. It's not like they can fly. Well, well, they're mountain pigs. They could be anywhere. Ah! Oh! Oh! Hi. Uh, I better stay here in case they come back. Fine. I should be looking for Rex Fury. You'll need to look like a farmer, or they'll run off. I got some spare overalls and a hat you can borrow. Great. Thanks. I used to wear them to muck out the pigs. Oh. Then, I locked them in a cupboard because they stinked up so bad. And I, well, buried the key in a field for safety. Right. And now they're haunted. 
You can use my old tractor to plow up the key if you like. Might be the spot of repairing, though. Looks like it needs oiling. Only, I can't think where I left the oil can. I'd need to retrace my footsteps to figure out where that oil is. Chase, I heard you got sent to my Uncle Duke's place. How's it going? Well, instead of searching for Rhett's fury, I'm searching for a key to some overalls which smell so bad they were locked in a cupboard. And I'm doing that so I can catch some pigs. Oh, <laughs> well, you can probably use your audio scanner to find pigs. Oh, well, now everything's okay. <laughs> I'll call you later. Thanks for the reminder, Ellie. I wonder how big it is. Ah, these don't smell so bad. Oh, wait, no, it just hit me. I better find these pigs then. So, you were saying you've really seen a UFO? Oh, yeah. I saw this weird, unearthly light, and then I got sucked up into their spacecraft where they did strange things to me. Oh, what kind of things? They probed me. You know, I mean, they asked me real searching questions. Oh. Then they stuck a machine. La, 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 can't hear you. La, 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 can't hear you. Not listening, not listening. You stop talking. So, do you think I can have a go on one of your machines? Maybe, but not my brand new combine harvester. You got a brand new combine harvester? Oh, I've got a brand new combine harvester. Will you give me the key? Yeah. Oh. <laughs>
not so easy to find, are they? Betsy does love getting up to mischief. Always getting into trouble, aren't you? Silly pig. Oh, and if you're looking for that Frank feller, he went up to the castle. Said he heard a distant oinking. I should do that. Sorry, police business. coming from somewhere up high. So either one of the pigs climbed up this castle, or whoever lives here has one of those weird laughs. <laughs> Be really careful climbing that thing. And if you fall off, try to land on something soft. Sure, Frank, I'll aim for your head. <laughs> It's weird how squashy it is. My doctor says I should wear a helmet at all times. You were right, Frank. There's a pig asleep up here. Woohoo! Now, how am I gonna get you back down? Thank <laughs> you. 
I fired him out of a cannon. <laughs> As if! I'll believe that when I see a pig fly! <gasps> Wait a minute! Hey there, Chasey. You want a job? Sure. As long as it doesn't involve riding animals around. And uh, then I got bad news, because it kind of does. Really? What is it? Is someone I know wants the giant robot Tyrannosaurus Rex stolen from the museum. A Tyrannosaurus? Rex? Who, uh, would want that? My private buyer. But trust me, he's nobody you'd want to meet. He's starting to be a real c yeah, I shouldn't say. Just give me a call once you got it out of the museum. Sure thing, Vinny. Ellie. I think I've got a lead on the Fury case. In Bluebell National Park? Uh, no. Vinny called me about a job at the museum. I've got to steal a robotic Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. If my uncle calls to find out where you are, I'll square it with him. Thanks. And maybe don't tell the chief just yet? <laughs> sure.